remember in lockdown seeing those Minecraft YouTubers absolutely exploding on Twitch and YouTube? People like Dream, Tommy in it, Tubbo, and Wilbur Sir were all massive about four years ago, but now it's four years later and they've somewhat fallen off and just aren't talked about as much. They're maintaining their like core audience of fans, but you don't hear as much about them anymore. I don't think they're doing a great job of growing outside their core audience. The people that watch them are super, super young, which is okay. We all watched Dan TDM growing up. And most of these guys are very, very cringe, but I guess they're somewhat harmless. Like Tommy and it and Tavo just scream and make really cringy jokes for hours on end, but you know what? It's for kids and and if someone showed me a Dan TDM video for the first time now, I'd be like, as you know, I'll probably I probably really like it too fair. But yeah, these guys haven't been talked about in years. The only thing I've heard about these Minecraft YouTubers recently is when Dream was getting called like a p for two months straight and got into a fight with Gumball Waterson. <laughs> well yeah, another Minecraft YouTuber has been added to the roster of weirdos, and that is Wilbur Sir. <laughs> now obviously these allegations are quite serious, and obviously this video is not to make fun of the victim, but I honestly hate these Minecraft YouTubers, so I'm gonna just rip into him like as much as I can, to be honest. So what are the allegations? Wilbur Sir had a girlfriend for a while, but he would do some like weird stuff to her, like he would bite her and I guess abuse her in different ways. And I actually found out that this like isn't like the first time he does this to like a girl. He did it to like Nia Chu and like some other streamers. Not only that, but apparently he was like proper filthy. <laughs> he didn't clean his room, but in my opinion, he is a Minecraft streamer. I, I think he gets away with that. Have you seen XQC's room? Normally when some crazy allegations come out about someone, their friends normally help them out, maybe, I don't know. But in this situation, the people that responded so far, Rambu, Tubbo, Amesley, they've all come out against Wilbursup. Now normally I would show you them responding in full, but to be honest, they literally, like, they said like nothing. They all said the exact same thing. And it was like the most boring response ever. Okay, so now that we know what he did and like what his friends had to say about it, let's have a look at his response to the whole situation. So he put out this tweet saying, In the past week, a series of allegations have been made over my conduct from an ex-girlfriend. I want to emphasize that, although I feel it's fair to offer my perspective, this person's feelings are completely valid. I have taken my time sharing this statement as I wanted to proceed and respond respectfully and with the hope to gain deep understanding for the situation. During our relationship's final months, I regrettably became sluggish, disrespectful, and selfish. These actions caused a lot of pain to my ex-girlfriend, and I sense therapy to address these behaviors, making significant lifestyle changes to rectify my past decisions. I've come to realize how much my past behavior hurt this person, but I truly, compassionately believe I have made great strides from the person I once was, and hope I can continue to grow and improve on this trajectory. Clearly, this like Wilbur guy is a bit of a weirdo, and to be honest, most of these Minecraft guys are. If you're staying in your room, like texting egos and like trying to date them it's just not good for your mental health like you're gonna become a weird guy i remember watching um a anthony padilla video i remember him talking about his, like the childhood or like he was like dirty i don't know it was like a weird video i always saw him as a bit of a strange guy to be honest but i mean these allegations kind of prove it i guess and it's weird, I swear like every time something like this happens, it's always like the preaching like, oh, I'm just like you, I'm just like you guys, that kind of guy. Like he had such like a weird persona of being like this shy anime boy. And for me, it just gives me bad vibes. I don't like it. Like I, I remember what, like I actually remember like a few years ago, this is such a specific thing and I couldn't find the clip for it because I, I watched it on the stream and it was something that probably no one else thought about that was watching. Don't ask why I was watching a Bulbasaur stream a few years ago. I just clicked on it. Okay, just leave me alone. But I literally remember there was this thing, thing where you can put a emoji to say that you can't hear the stream or you can't chat in the stream. Something like that about not being able to see the chat or not being able to see the stream. I think it was a new thing at the time. And Wilbur was like, oh, that's everyone spam it as a, as a joke, right? And I remember him saying, oh, wait, it's not um like one person got mad at him because they was like, oh, this is for people with disabilities. I mean, first of all, I don't think it was. And second of all, he like profusely started apologizing apologizing like he just said something absolutely obscene and it was like the and it, it was the first time where i saw this thing it was like these guys are so scared of their viewers it, it's crazy i don't know why but yeah i don't hate these guys <laughs> clearly <laughs> bye